Welcome to my channel Competitive Exam Warriors. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell button to stay updated to my latest notification. Welcome to my channel Competitive Exam Warriors and today I will be discussing with you September Current Affairs Part 2. Let's proceed this is my achievement section. If you are a new viewer, you can have a look at uh, these particular achievements. Otherwise, you can proceed further. But before proceeding further, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it comes free of cost and I try to give you everyday important news and also don't forget to hit the bell button to stay updated to my latest notifications. Now, if you are new, please join my telegram channel so that you'll be getting regular updates of my everyday lessons. Okay. And uh, this is my target audience. You can watch it over here. That is Bank SC Railways and Insurance. Let's proceed further. First one that is India withdraws from uh, Russia military excise comes of 2020. Very important. Please try to remember this headline is extreme for Russia military exercise Cubs of 2020. So India has withdrawn its participation from the multilateral military exercise Cup Cubs 2020 to be held where venue is important it's in Russia and the dates that is 15 to 26 September 2020. Now Russia and India are privileged strategic partners and Russia's invitation India has been participating in many international events however due to COVID-19 and consequent difficulties in exercise India has decided not to send a contingent this year to Kabja 2020. Now let's know something about this exercise that is Kabja 2020. This would be held in Astrakhan province of southern Russia where member countries of Shanghai Cooperation Organization that is ACO and Central Asian countries will be participating. Other countries that will participate in this exercise are China, Pakistan, Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Mongolia, Syria, Iran, Egypt, Belarus, Turkey, Armenia, Az Abkhazia, South Ossetia, Azerbaijan and Turkmenistan. This is the most important news. Now next uh, move uh, towards the next important news that is regarding Medbot, Medbot sorry, medical trolley developed by Medbot, M-E-T-B-O-T, Medbot medical trolley developed by Indian Railways. Very important this one, right? Medbot. Now Indian Railways has developed a remote controlled medical trolley named Medbot to help deliver which particular task will be done by Medbot to deliver food and medicines to COVID-19 patients. During this particular corona crisis, apart from providing transport facilities, essential items like food grains to people, Indian Railways has also provided facilities for COVID-19 patients. It is providing service in the central hospital of the diesel rail engine factory of Indian Railways. Static news like Union Mr. Railways is Mr. Piyush Goel. If you know his constituency, please leave it in the comment section. And also, don't forget to mention the other portfolio of Mr. Piyush Goel. Coming to the next important news, this is short news that I have covered in this particular slide that is regarding Scooby Doo co creator Joe Ruby passes away. Okay, let's know something regarding the obituary based news that is the co creator of the cartoon series Scooby Doo Joe Ruby passed away. Ruby, an American animator, television editor, writer, and producer, created the much loved characters of beloved kids show Scooby-Doo along with his creative partner Ken Spears. So it's a bit of important news. You can remember it along with this particular news that is made for. Now let's uh, proceed further and come to the next news that is ease of doing business report suspended by World Bank. So World Bank has stopped the publication of its doing business report to probe data collection irregularities in the annual ranking of countries, business and investment climates. Okay. According to World Bank, a number of irregularities actually have been reported regarding changes to data in the Doing Business 2018 and Doing Business 2020 reports. Okay, so that's why the new one has been suspended with World Bank, published in October 2017 2019 respectively. World Bank would conduct a systematic review of data changes in the last five uh, ease of doing business reports and independent auditors will probe data collection and review processes to see what went wrong over there. The last doing business report was published in October 2019 in which India was ranked 63rd while New Zealand was on top. Please try to remember this last one. Okay. Now moving forward uh, to the next news that is regarding important sports based news like Lewis Hamilton wheels Formula 1 Belgian Grand Prix 2020. So important sports based news. Mercedes driver uh, Lewis Hamilton over here. Great Britain has won the Formula 1 Belgian Grand Prix 2020 fair at Spa Franco Vams in Belgium. This was his fifth win of the particular season. Valtteri Voltas, Mercedes Finland came second, followed by Max Verstappen, that is Red Bull from Netherlands at third place. Coming to the next one, that is the sixth one, that is India Russia jointly wins PD Online Chase Olympiad. That's important, right? India and Russia have become the joint winners of PD Online Chase Olympiad. World Chase governing body, that is FIDE, declared. 
this one you can find over here declares both the finalists as joint winners after at least two games in second match were affected by internet connectivity issues so everything's online now as you see and online problems the server error is coming which wouldn't have been possible it wouldn't have possible obviously if there was an offline match the fide olympian fid online chess olympiad was held for the first time due to the coronavirus pandemic this is the biggest team championship in chess as around 163 countries took part in the online tournament now the indian team comprised of the following uh, sorry this will be the following teams uh, sorry for the mistake okay and uh, the teams uh, which uh, i'll be telling to you wait a bit yeah the names i have not included over here uh, but i will telling you the names because names are not that important right uh, vinith uh, gujarati captain vishnath nanan sanjay harikrishna konaru hampi drunavali harika r vishali bhakti kulkarni nihal sarin r pragnananda arvin chidambaram r vishali bhakti kulkarni divya deshmukh and bhanti gagrawal the names are not that important so i am including this particular site okay now coming to last one like uh, gujarat to come in sea plane service from 31st october 2020 Now the first ever sea plane services in Gujarat will commence from 31st October 2020 so that is important to remember and Gujarat will commence this particular sea plane service from 31st October 2020 now the sea plane service will offer seamless and affordable air connectivity from where sabarmati ashram i heard that is sabarmati front fair in ahmedabad to statue of unity in kavadia that is of sardar ballabh patel in gujarat Now, Spicejet airplane will operate the seaplane service to be commenced on the birth anniversary of Sardar Ballabh Bhai Patel. To start seaplane service in the state, the Gujarat government has signed a tripartite agreement with Union Ministry of Civil Aviation (MOC). You can tell me the Union Ministry North Wales constituency in the comment section. And Airports Authority of India (this AAI). Now, static based news. Okay, already I mentioned to you, Minister of State of Civil Aviation, Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri. You have to mention his constituency in the comment section. And Chief Minister of Gujarat is Vijay Bhai R. Rupani, Governor Acharya Devrat, and CM MP is Jogi Adityanath. Governor is Anandiben Patel, as you can see over here. So, coming to end of this particular lesson, if you happen to like this lesson, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share this with your friends as much as possible. And if you have got any query, don't forget, don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section. I'll be happy to help.